Recent studies have shown that higher Mediterranean diet adherence scores are associated with a significant reduction in risk of death, heart disease, cancer, and brain disease. But the problem with population studies like these is that people who eat healthier may also live healthier, and so how do we know it's their diet? As the American Heart Association position states, before advising people to follow a Mediterranean diet, we need more studies to find out whether the diet itself or other lifestyle factors account for the lower deaths from heart disease. How do you do that? Well, there are ways you can control for obvious things like smoking and exercise, which many studies did, but ideally you do an interventional trial, the gold standard of nutritional science. Take people, change their diet while trying to keep everything else the same, and see what happens. And that's what we got 20 years ago, the famous Lyon Diet Heart Study. About 600 folks who had just had their first heart attack were randomized into two groups. The control group got no dietary advice, apart from whatever their doctors were telling them. But the experimental group was told to eat more of a Mediterranean-type diet supplemented with a canola oil-based spread to give them the plant-based omega-3s they'd normally be get from eating you know, weeds and walnuts if they actually lived on a Greek isle in the 1950s. The Mediterranean diet group did end up taking some of the dietary advice to heart. They ate more bread, more fruit, less deli meat, less meat in general, and less butter and cream. Uh, but other than that, uh, no significant changes in diet reported in terms of wine, olive oil, or fish consumption. So uh, less saturated fat and cholesterol, more plant-based omega-3s, but not huge dietary changes. But at the end of about four years, in the control group, 44 individuals had a second heart attack, either fatal or non-fatal, but only 14 suffered another attack in the group that changed their diet. So they went from having like a 4% chance of having a heart attack every year down to like 1%. Now, a cynic might say, yes, less death and disease, but the Mediterranean diet continued to feed their heart disease, so much so that 14 of them suffered new heart attacks while on the diet. Now, their disease progressed a lot less than the regular diet group, about four times less, but what if there was a diet that could stop or reverse heart disease? Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn and colleagues at the Cleveland Clinic recently published a case series of 198 consecutive patients with cardiovascular disease counseled to switch to a diet composed entirely of whole plant foods. Of the 198, 177 stuck to the diet, whereas the other 21 fell off the wagon, setting up kind of a natural experiment. What happened to the 21? Uh, this was such a sick group of patients that more than half suffered from like a fatal heart attack or needed angioplasty or a heart transplant. In that same time period of about four years, of the 177 that stuck to the plant-based diet, only one had a major event as a result of worsening disease. Not half, but less than 1%. As Dean Ornish noted in his response to the latest Mediterranean trial, a Mediterranean diet is better than what most people are consuming, but even better may be a diet based on whole plant foods. Now, this was not a randomized trial, so it can't directly be compared to the Lyon study, and included very determined patients. Not everyone is willing to dramatically change their diets, even if it may literally be a matter of life or death, in which case, Rather than doing nothing, eating a more Mediterranean-type diet may cut risk for heart attack survivors by about two-thirds. Cutting 99% of risk would be better if Esselstyn's results were replicated in a controlled trial, but even a 70% drop in risk could save tens of thousands of lives every year.